Hello folks, Everchanger here, and welcome back to more of The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. Last time we made our way into Hyrule Castle and infused the Sacred Blade with the two elements we have obtained thus far in the Elemental Sanctuary. And we also discovered some interesting details about Ezlo's past with Vati. Very, very interesting stuff. This time, we are not actually going to be going after the next element. I think we're going to take a couple of episodes and deal with some stuff that has now opened up to us now that we have this sword and a bunch of new stuff that we're actually allowed to go grab. And the first thing I want to get is actually right up here. I want to pull out your bombs and blast open this rock. Will it take out that sign too? No, it actually didn't. What does it say? Royal Valley. Ooh, keep that in mind for later. It will be important. Head right on down this ladder and down these stairs right here, and guarded by three keys is... Come on. A piece of heart. I believe that's the ninth one we've actually obtained. There's actually another one I want to grab relatively nearby this area, so I'm going to run across Hyrule Field and I'll meet you guys right over there. Right outside the east of North Hyrule Field is this hole right here in Lon Lon Ranch. What you want to do is pull out your cane of Paki, and sprung yourself right up here, and that will bring us to a new area, Vale Falls. This area won't actually be important to the storyline for quite a while, but you do want to run over to this area real quick, because right over here, ow, is yet another piece of heart, which is very nice. Now that we have that, I think we are going to be heading back to Hyrule Town, because there is a lot of stuff over there I want to grab, so I'll meet you guys right over there. Back over here in Hyrule Town, we want to actually head into Swiftblade's dojo because he should have another technique for us. Hmm? A new sword! Fantastic! And you seem to have acquired new skills with it. Yes, I am ready to train you again, young swordsman. So, will you accept this new training? Yes, we shall. I will now teach you a technique called the Rock Breaker, so pay attention. First, swing your sword to break pots. Actually, that's all there is, young swordsman! Do you understand? Absolutely. Seems simple enough. Yes. Haha. <laughs> Good. If you had said you didn't understand, I would have had serious doubts about you. Yes, but one must feel the technique, not just hear about it. That's why I will now possess your body so as to demonstrate the technique. That is the secret of the swift blade possession technique of training. Watch this. Grrr. Possession! Huh. Now, you must try it yourself. Break the pots with your sword, that's all. Simple enough, walk up to pots and slash. Yes, fine work. Fantastic even. I will now give you this tiger scroll. If you ever forget this technique, you can reveal it with this scroll. And we learned the secret rock breaker fighting technique. Shatter pots and pulverize boulders with a single blow. This will actually also work on those tan-ish boulders that you can see lying around the world, which is very nice, very useful technique, probably the one you're going to wind up using the most, aside from the spin attack. Anyway, now actually what we want to do is we want to come up here. I actually forgot to do this last time we were here in town. What you want to do is pull out your gust jar, and clean out this pad right here. It won't actually do anything for you right now, but you want to make sure to do it because it will do something for you later. Now what we want to do is we want to head into the shop right here and grab the wallet. We weren't able to afford it last time, but now we are able to afford it. Only 80 rupees for a wallet. It holds a king ransom in rupees. So let's grab it. Very nice. Now we can carry even more rupees. Much obliged, my good lad. Please do not hesitate to stop by again. Alright, now that we have that, we actually want to head into one of these houses. Is it this one? Yeah, I think it might be this one. Snipe it with the cane of Paki, and we can head right up on here, and... That's right, even some human objects are portals to the Minish world. These Minish may not look like much, but they are quite crafty. Head right over here to the hearth, and you can actually hop right up onto the roof right here, which is pretty interesting, but we actually don't want to head up here quite yet. I actually want to come out this way, I believe. This is one thing I'm not entirely sure on how to do, but I'm pretty sure I'm doing it the way you're intended to, and it looks like I am. My cat really wants out of my room. I'll be right back. 
Apologies about that, I hope you didn't get too much gnarling in the background, but for whatever reason she was sound asleep when I started recording this, but apparently, as soon as you hit the record button, interruptions abound. But anyway, head right on here into the back of the inn. I want to grab a third piece of heart. We have three, collect just one more to increase your life energy. Very nice. I'm going to hop onto this portal and head back to that house and return to normal size, and we're going to go grab the next thing on our checklist. Now that we're back up to normal size, we want to head right over here into this house. This is actually the mayor's house. That mustachioed guy strikes me as somewhat unreliable. There's something fishy about this room, too. I'm not going to be getting to what's so fishy about it for a little bit. Anyway, what we want to do is head down this way. And there's a little bit of a cave right here. Open up the chest, and we get a kinstone piece. These mystic stones are said to bring happiness. I believe this kinstone is always going to be exactly the one you need for what we're going to do next. We want to head in here. And we actually want to fuse with the mayor. You want to fuse kinstones? Oh, please, please, yes. It's been a few videos since we've actually done a fusion with anybody. This one is pretty important, though. The, coo the two kinstone pieces fit perfectly. Maybe something good will happen. Yes, indeed. The little sparkle will fly on over here to Lon Lon Ranch, an area that we actually cannot access at the moment, but we will be able to access very soon. And that will drain that pond and open up a little bit of a stairway for us. Oh, that's so pretty. A perfect fit. Now I know we'll get lucky. Yes, indeed. Very lucky. Now we actually want to head on over to this side of town, and there is a rather important house for us. Is it this one? I'm pretty sure it's this one. Yes, it is. Got this guy right here. I come from a faraway land. You can tell by my clothing, can't you? Yes, he will offer to fuse with you. This place isn't so bad once you get used to it. I like it here. But unfortunately, he requires a red kinstone piece that we don't have. Just want to point out that he's there because you actually want to head right on over to the inn. You want to head into the inn. They're not open yet. Oh gee, is this something we actually can't do yet? I'm legitimately surprised. I thought this was something you would actually be able to do at this point. Oh, well, I guess we're going to have to leave it for later. But anyway, since we actually can't do that yet, it looks like... Oh, wait, no. There's actually one more thing we want to grab. See the shop over here? There's this little board of wood right across here. We actually want to move, lady. You see how she wants to fuse with us, but we're actually going to be covering a large amount of fusions in the next episode. I want to hit this and become tiny. And we actually want to... Ah, uh, crap. We got something real quick. Before you do that, you want to head up here and push on this bookshelf. There you go. Now we want to shrink, because now that we have shrunk, we can head up this little ladder right here and across. And we are now up in the roof area, which is pretty interesting. You see, these characters are town minish. Got forest minish right here. I like these blue hats the town minish wear. So we now have Mountain Minish, Forest Minish, and Town Minish. They're everywhere, I tell ya. Everywhere, everywhere. Pretty awesome how they integrate that in so perfectly. Head right on over here to the roof of the shop, and it's instantly a lot less friendly. You want to be really careful around here, try and knock all these enemies off as best you can. Let's see, what can we find in this chest right here? Just head right off the cliff there. Very good. What's in this chest? It is 10 mysterious shells. We're going to be getting to what those are used for. Probably not in this round of side quests, but probably later. Head right on down here. Hello? Is anyone back there? No? Oh well, I guess not. How odd. I'm actually, head right on up here. Egad, I knew there was someone here. When did you find your way back here? This area is for employees only. That's to say, me and me alone. There's supposed to be something back here. Is all this stuff... I, I'm following a guide that I made for myself, but I guess a bunch of this stuff actually isn't available for us to do yet. Ah, yes, yes. Welcome, welcome. Please, feel free to browse. I'm not, not sure how we're supposed to do that from back here. Man, this is embarrassing. First, the stranger doesn't want to fuse with me, and now the thing I want to do back here isn't actually available yet. Oh, how embarrassing. Oh, well, it looks like we're going to have to transform back into our Minish form and head right on back. No, I went to roll, dang it. 
Uh, well, it looks like we're actually done with everything we can possibly do in town at the moment, so I guess I'm actually going to have to head on out to Lon Lon Ranch to see what our fusion with the mayor actually unlocks, so I'm going to go off and do that. Right on out this way, right by the mayor's house, we have another entrance to Lon Lon Ranch. What we want to do is we want to bomb this right open. Boom, boom, very nice. And we want to head right on down here, correct? Honestly, where did Dad go this time? I leave for just a few minutes and he locks up the ranch and takes off. Seriously, can we not do this either? Man, I could have sworn a lot more was available for us to do. Ah, well there is actually one more thing I believe we are able to do at this point. Want to head right on down this way. Hop. And with our cane of Paki right here, we can hit this hole and sprawling right on up here. And here's a little hidden area of Minish Woods. Come right on in this tree and here we have another fairy fountain. Welcome to the Adventurer Spring. I have need of many rupees. Please, throw all of yours into the spring. Eh, sure, why not? Really? You know that if you do this, you will have absolutely no rupees left, right? Will you really throw them all in? Yeah, sure. You are most kind. I do not really need your rupees. But I must reward such a kind adventurer with some of my power. And we get a big wallet, and now you can carry more rupees. May light shine on your quest. Cool beans, and cool beans, indeed. We now have an upgraded wallet. We have gotten two wallets in this episode. I believe the first wallet we obtained has a limit of 500. This one has a limit of 5 or... I mean, uh, the first one had 300 limit. This one has a limit of 5 or 600, I believe. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure I'm not. really wish we could have done this, because this was the entire reason I made that fusion with the mayor in the first place. I mean, what the heck? Oh well, this will probably unlock pretty soon in our adventure anyway, so we're going to have to make sure and remember we go and do that. But anyway, I think next up I want to head out to Mount Cornell, so I'm going to meet you guys right over there. Back up here on Mount Cornell, you want to head right on over this way, climb up all these rock walls with your grip ring, and there's going to be something very interesting for you now that you have the ability to split yourself in two with the white sword. Head right up to this area, which I pointed out earlier on in the series. And we have the first instance of something that you can only unlock if you have the ability to split yourself, which is what we're going to be doing right here. want to split yourself this far apart so you can squeeze right on through here. And you and your clone can press the button and head right on in to this area. Inside you will find a fourth piece of heart. You complete a new heart container. Your life energy has been replenished and increased. There was one more heart container that I was planning on grabbing in this video, or a heart piece rather. But unfortunately it hinged on me being able to get into Lon Lon Ranch, which apparently we can't do yet, even though I could have sworn you could. Open up this chest and you got 50 rupees. Open up this chest and you have another 50 rupees. You're going to want to save up some money for an item that you can grab at the shop now that we've bought the wallet. But anyway, right here we have... Believe not what others tell you. I am the true Master Swordsman of Hyrule. My name is Greyblade, and if you train with me, you will learn much. So, would you like to train here? Please. You will learn the amazing roll attack. First, roll with the D-pad and R. Second, as soon as you get up. Third, scream hi and swing your sword. That's all, young swordsman. Do you understand? This one's a lot more complicated than the rock breaker to pull off, but I think we got it. Oh, -ho, well answered. You have much promise, but one must feel the technique, not just hear about it. That's why I will now possess your body so as to demonstrate the technique. This is the gray bit. Bleh. Sorry, had a stroke. This is the gray blade possession technique of training. Watch this. Huh? Possession. Oh, now you must try it yourself. Roll with the D-pad and R, then swing your sword as you start to get up. This one's a little bit complicated, basically you want to roll, and as soon as you get up, 
Swing your sword. Yes, fine work. You know the way. I will now give you this tiger scroll. If you ever forget this technique, you can review it with this scroll. You learned the secret roll attack fighting technique. Slay with one stroke. Aim and release. Yes, we now have three sword techniques, which is very cool. And we also now have eight heart containers now that we are on our way to grabbing more. I don't know where I was going with that, but anyway, now that we've grabbed four heart pieces and we did one fusion, although we cannot reap the benefits of that fusion quite yet, and we have grabbed two sword techniques. Looking over my notes here, it looks like that's all we're actually able to do for the moment in regards to collectibles. So I think now that we have done all that, we are going to be ending things off here. Next time on The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap, we are going to be doing a lot of kinstone fusions. And I will see you guys next time.